This is Anne with a quick anagram on how to import your assignment folder. In your slides for this week, you'll have a slide that looks something like this, and it has instructions for what you need to do. I'm going to move that slide off to the side in a minute so that we can, so that I can follow the directions um, as I record. But the first thing that it says is create a week two folder at the root of your workspace. You should already know how to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it very quickly. New folder, week two. Be sure to get the capitalization right and no spaces. And then come back here and there will be a link to a zip file that is available to you for download. I click on that, click there. What happens next will depend a little bit on your browser and your machine, but ultimately what you want to do is choose your option for downloading to your local folders. I'm going to save that file and I've got a scratch folder that I put this kind of stuff into so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. The important thing is whether you save it to your desktop or you save it to some folder, the next thing you need to do is find this zip file so you need to know where it to get saved. Okay, I'm going to bring up that folder, bring it over here, and I have to unzip it. Now, these days in a lot of modern operating systems, if you double click this file, you don't actually unzip it. All you do is look into it, and that's not the same as unzipping it. So I'm going to go back, and in my system, I have to right click on that. I'm, I have 7-zip installed. You may have an option that is simply extract all. Either one will work. Um, let me go ahead and use extract all since probably all Windows users have that. On a Mac, you'll have a different option. And it's going to go into a folder called week 2A, which is exactly what I want. I press extract. And I now have two things in my folder. I have the week 2A zip file, and I have a week 2A folder that has a week 2A folder inside it. And what you need to drag to your Cloud9 machine is this bottom folder that has all these other little folders in it. So be sure that you are at the folder that contains the readme.md file. And move this over here a bit. Go back to your Cloud9 machine. Get your file explorer so that you can see it. And all you have to do is drag week 2A on to week 2. That folder gets created inside the week 2 folder. And you have a bunch of little folders and files in here. Um, a couple of these folders have a file inside it that you want to keep. Some of them are empty and you need to create files inside them and they have a dot placeholder file. You can delete that now or you can just leave it there. I don't care. 